Hello, my name is Kark City 2 and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. Last episode we ended off and I was having some trouble crafting and I'm still having uh, trouble getting this going and I'm not, I must have changed something and I, I don't know what I did. Uh, but for some reason, there's probably like a circular recipe somewhere. I moved something. Uh, I don't know exactly what it was. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what it is. And I've gone ahead and I've just started crafting up each each part. Oh. So got 951 of those, 951 of those. I got enough of the the things. I just have done the photonic cells and quantum circuits and yeah it still doesn't want to work and I, it's just i don't know it's driving me nuts here um and the weird thing is it seems like i can craft up all the parts separately but all together seems to be causing an issue uh, i have a feeling it's one of these possibly the energy modules i I don't know. Is it something with the superconductors? I don't know. Um, but I should just go. I'm just going to continue going along the each thing. And I'm just doing one at a time. A lot of times I do like a whole bunch at a time. But I'm, I'm just doing one part of this and letting it craft up to see. Because I am stumped here. I really don't know what I did. Did, did I move a recipe? Did it... I mean, I broke down all this stuff over here. I haven't finished this either. I've gotten completely distracted. I'm like... Is that something that I did? I really don't know. Um, so I'm going to continue doing this and try to figure out what the heck I did. Although, there, that's... That was super quick. All right, let's see. Did that fix it? Nope. All right, moving on to the next one. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do these first, I think, so I can roll these out because I'm pretty sure these aren't the issue. Yep. All right. So we'll craft those up and. We'll see. Okay, I may have actually figured it out. I went to craft up these Dyson things, and it actually popped up that we were missing transcendent metal. And I just had a thought. Um, I just crafted up a whole bunch of the transcendent stuff, and... I'm actually working on one of the things I was doing over there was fixing this. Um, I am wondering if the issue is being caused by this stocking input bus or the stocking hatch. Um, and it's just not giving me an error for it. So I am actually going to do that. Um, because it was saying what made me kind of wonder it was saying we needed 15 million and i already had 735 so something was telling me like that is the problem and that would make sense because i did just uh when i was starting to craft these up i actually did craft up more transcendent metal no dang it it's still not that um i do think it is that I do think it's transcendent metal though. Usually when we have that is issue where the recipe is like a circular recipe, it um, it uh, causes issues and that would make sense. So uh, I actually, I'm gonna, before I continue doing that stuff, I'm actually gonna finish doing this. Now these are just, we're setting these up solely on the purpose of doing this transcendent metal. So I think I was actually fixing the issue um, and I just didn't realize. 
Um, yeah, so that's going to be stocking. And then I'll put... No, it'll actually be output bus. Uh, since we're only doing... This is one recipe, and that is it. Uh, the main reason I'm worrying about this right now, trying to get these things, because I wanted something crafting up as I was, you know, working on this stuff. Uh, I wanted uh, the other things to be crafting up. All right, so input bus, output bus. And then, yeah, I think we're... But I do need some of those. What are we doing? We have eight mufflers. We need mufflers. Actually, I only need a couple because we'll throw those in the middle. So they can share. Yeah, so the... Muffler will go right there. All right. Yeah. And this one will go there. All right. Yeah, let me get this done and let me convert all this transcendent metal. This recipe has been a thorn in my side. I'm going to say this is probably my least favorite recipe in the entire mod pack, this transcendent metal. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out this dang recipe, and I've tried to do this so many times and keep coming up with issues. And the problem is, like I've said millions of times, you need the transcendent metal to craft the tesseracts to get more transcendent metal, and you get blocks and dust, and that is that circular recipe, um, which screws everything up. And I think part of the problem maybe is that i am converting all the the dust and the blocks um, i'm converting everything to transcendent metal ingots and then i'm using that to craft up um, the different like if we need dense plates or something like that that is i'm using the ingots to do that um but sometimes the A system needs to craft up more of the metal for component parts. But the only recipe I have in the A system is for blocks that we are producing to be converted into metal. And I think that actually may be the problem. Um, I haven't really messed with it, but I think that might be like we're crafting up the blocks, but I immediately melt the blocks down. I, um, I, ex I fluid extract them directly into fluid. Um, so that way, the reason I do that is so we can keep crafting it up um, with this. So the A system crafts up 200,000 blocks, it converts it into metal, and it's like, oh, we need to do more. So it keeps running that. If I don't if I just leave these blocks, then the A system will stop producing it. Um, and that's not how I want that to work. I want it to continue crafting up transcendent metal. Um, so I think, like I said, it might be the extractor recipe. This one, it might be causing the issue like it can't craft up the blocks to melt down the into the th the thing. All right. So actually, I think what I'm going to do is m tell the A system to melt this down, the ingots down. Obviously, we'll increase the size or something like that. 128. So instead of doing that, We'll extract the, the ingots that we have. Um, because when I'm crafting, when I have this passive crafting, we're just producing all 
or producing the ingots. So we're keeping all these in stock. So I think what I was, I was trying to tell the A system to craft up the blocks to melt it down, but I can't craft up the blocks without the, the thing. I don't know. I could be wrong. I have no idea if that sorted it out. Probably not. I'm going to rage at my computer if this doesn't work. And there's that soda right now. Son of a... Okay, we are back. And after much messing around with the A system and trying to figure out what is going on, I actually think the problem wasn't our transcendent metal. Um, which would kind of explain I kept messing with it and it wasn't fixing it, but I don't actually think that was the issue. I think the issue is still this subnet, and we've had some issues with it before. I thought I had sorted it out, um, but I think it's that uh, the fluids it and the items... Um, so it thinks there's more in the, the A system than there actually is. So I think it is actually this thing. Um, so I am, I'm going to sort this out and I don't know. I don't, I want to get rid of these as well and get all the fluids on their own subnet. Yeah, I want to get them all on their own subnet. Um, so I don't need to... Um, we have, like, the fluid storage bus and the item storage bus, and that is kind of messing things up. But I need the storage bus over here for um, the items and the drive. So that is kind of the issue, I think. And I think it was actually silicone rubber which was causing the problem. And I think that is also what's causing issue with the soldering alloy occasionally. Um, if we have items in there, um, we also store it in here. In there somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I think it's, like I said, I think it's being stored as a fluid and a, I think that's over here, isn't it? Maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. But, yeah, so I am going to, I'm going to have to work on this. And I keep saying I'm going to redo this. And then I just keep adding more to it. But it is definitely causing us issues at times. Um, so I need to get, at least get all the... The fluids uh, onto their own subnet. Is that what I want? I was just thinking, like, that might mess up the... See, then I'm like, oh, that might mess up the, the condensed plasma mixture. I don't know. I'll have, like, see, this is, like, quite a big... Trying to split those is quite a big ordeal. I'm going to have to do... Because all the Eye of Harmonies go to... They both go to the same subnet. The items and the fluids all go to the same sub So I'm going to sort that out. And I really don't... really don't want to. But that's why I've been kind of putting it off. Um... But uh, in the meantime, I need to get this set up. I keep going up here to set this, and I keep forgetting. All right, salt water. Pretty sure we do have, yeah, we have chlorine right there. That is actually not set. That filter isn't actually set. I'm going to actually do... Yeah, if you put the fluid in there, unfortunately it doesn't 
You have to put like a item. Get that. We could maybe do those. Did it? Yeah. That doesn't really matter. I was just worried if the it cleared out the chlorine for some reason. All right. So we'll do that. And I, I love how I said I'm going to fix this and then I'm adding more <laughs> to it. Uh, funny. All right. So then that means I need to get... Yeah, so I definitely do want... I want to store more than just that. Actually, do we want to do... No, we might want to do an output hatch. Is that going to... going to work with a multiple like it works over here because like we only produce helium but now that i'm thinking i'm like is that can we set hmm. i don't know if that will actually change the change the me connection Like, is this going to fill up with? Yeah, it's filling up with both of them. I don't particularly want that to do that. Can I do this? Actually, I would physically need to hold that, wouldn't I? Oh, let me... Do we have... Yeah, I don't have salt water. I don't keep salt water in my A system. Ah, this is turning into an ordeal. Okay, I think what I'm just going to do is store both of these, because we actually do use the unknown liquid in our QFTs. I just don't run it all the time. But we do actually use it. So I think what we're going to do is just make a thing for the uh, a cell. Or the unknown liquid and we'll just store that as well uh, also I did attempt to set this but yeah it doesn't work unfortunately all right that is set to yeah there we go all right so that is gonna run permanently although that doesn't really matter to be honest I'm like 15 million you protect that's nothing <laughs> uh i always just kind of wondered if we had these permanently running is that a does that cause like performance issues if we don't like don't really need unknown liquid running um but i guess we do want the salt water but all right anyway uh i I don't even know where to start with this stuff, to be honest. It's partially because these, like half of it's stored in these and half of it's stored in digital singularities now. So it's like, I don't know. And I don't, I don't particularly want to lose all those plasmas, but I'm like, uh, how the heck am I going to get them out of there? I don't know. Well, uh, I'll, I'll just have to spend some time and I just don't have a whole lot of time in uh, real life to... Uh, spend on this kind of stuff. 
That is usually why I just AFK and let the world run. All right. So I think now I love how I'm spending or I'm expanding this stuff even more. <laughs> That is, I think that needs to be technically directly on here. Because it's like 30 or, yeah, 24 channels. So I'm keeping this completely on a subnet. The salt water is going into that subnet from the space elevator. This is connected, the storage stocking input hatches are connected directly to the, um, actually I have it right here. Um, it, they're connected directly to the subnet and then the outputs are going back into the subset. So this is completely separate from our, our main network. And then I'll, I'll just, yeah, I'll just set up, like I said, a separate subnet, and then we'll just have to switch these all over. And I'll have to just, there's so many different wireless subnets over there, or wireless connectors. I'm going to have to figure out which, <laughs> where they all go. Um, all right. I think I am going to have to, ah, stuck. You need circuits, I believe. I have 11, about 20, 22. Come on. There it is. Thankfully, he's going to change easily. Oh, I need... I actually don't even know about water. We are... Oh, we want one. So salt water into hydrogen chlorine. And I think I'm probably just going to avoid the sodium hydroxide. Hydrogen we can actually keep. I don't know why I thought that was an eight. Oh, because it said eight on it, but the actual circuit. <laughs> Duh. All right. Um, being kind of weird about these because I hate when I have extra of these circuits. All right. I totally did the wrong math there, too. Yay, me. All right. So we do that, and then. Void excess, and then I forgot to put the the energy hatches in. All right. Well, this is going to be thirty-two of these electrolyzers producing chlorine and. I think this might actually be a bit overkill. I don't know. We'll see. Ah. I think that should... Yeah, there we go. All right, so it's going to avoid the sodium hydroxide, but it's producing 6 million chlorine every 6 seconds, or a million per second it is producing. It's also faster because I'm putting the wireless. I really think I kind of went overkill on this, to be honest. <laughs> oh, well. All right, why aren't you... Oh, because I didn't. There we go. You know how time consuming this stuff could be? 
think like, oh, you're just doing the same multi-block over and over and over again, but it's actually kind of time-consuming. Go. I do. I didn't. I'm just going to do... Let's let's start with these, I think. And then we'll see. Come on. All right. And I'm also like we showed I am crafting up the parts for the next stargate block so i am actually i wanted to get that that's why i ended up <laughs> getting sucked into try to figure out what the heck was going on with our a system because i wanted to get that up and running before i started doing this i mean like look how like crazy time consuming this is <laughs> just setting these all up to go where they need to go all right i thought that was I thought I did eight. Math is hard. I did fourteen there for some reason. Oh well. Okay. Um well I'll continue. Well, actually no. I think we'll just do this. I'll do the eight and then we'll see. If we're producing well, the thing is, like, I don't really know, like, unless the QFT is permanently running. I screw that up. Maybe not. Uh, the, I think it is the rubber that uses all the chlorine, if I remember. Actually, let's get these going and then I'll turn it on. All right, so there we are producing our chlorine. You can see it. Um, yes, and I've also upgraded this QFD. I know this QFD should be like over there as well. Like, <laughs> I just, uh, I don't want to mess with this. I'm just, ah. All right, so there we're producing 191 million molten silicone rubber uh, because I have upgraded the QFT. Um, Pointing in somewhere. I th we did set a thing, didn't we? I don't know. It's like... There it is. Yeah. Um, And I believe that is... Yes, that is using chlorine. Is that... Uh, no, it looks actually looks like... Yeah, I don't know if we're actually... We might not actually be producing enough chlorine. I think it's pretty close. No, it's we're slowly dropping. So, I mean, maybe 32 of these wasn't overkill. Might be overkill for my computer, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, so that is kind of... That's why I was doing so many of those. Because these things are crazy. Also, this is producing this so fast. Like, I don't actually... <laughs> I have 6 billion now. Like, I don't actually need that much. Now that it's producing it so fast, I'm like, maybe we don't actually need it that fast. Like, these... Even, like, if I did, like, a Stargate Blade, it only... It's only, like, a few hundred million of that. So that would actually last us for a while. But anyway, we can... Um, we can um, produce it fast enough. Uh, let me finish crafting up one of the Stargate places... Uh, blocks and then we will place it. We only have three more of these chevrons, which is pretty amazing um, I just need to wait for Actually, that's gonna take uh, That's gonna take a little bit of time. I actually need to finish up this episode. So we'll come back next episode where you will get the Next part of Stargate and I will continue trying to just work on everything uh, But it is slow going. It definitely is a bit slow going at the moment Anyway, that's going to be it for today, so thanks for watching, and have a good one.